Hey, welcome to All Things SEO with Jay. Today's video is going to be about how to increase your WordPress website site speed using a plugin called WP Rocket. And I've mentioned this plugin on my must have SEO WordPress plugin video, and I'll put the link description below so you can watch that video as well. So, in comparison with other plugins, I've chosen this as my favorite WordPress plugin to increase your WordPress speed. And I've ran some tests to kind of show you the before and after results to, uh, to kind of see if there is a change, uh, a good amount of difference for you to pay for this plugin. Um, as you can see here, you have for one website, you're looking at about $49. So is this worth it? And I, I recommend it, uh, especially if you're using a hosting provider uh, such as Name, Namecheap or Hostgator, um, a lot of those affordable hosting companies. Uh, if you do transition to uh, more advanced web, WordPress hosting like Nexus uh, or uh, Kingston and so on, um, they do provide you a little bit more benefits and more speed, uh, but you do want to see if you could add uh, into um, and enhance that speed using the WP Rocket with even with the advanced web pro, web, uh, WordPress hosting provider. So, is this beneficial for a beginner? Yes. Is this uh, beneficial for those who are spending a little bit more amount of money use, um, using a more advanced WordPress hosting provider? Absolutely. And I want to give you some of the the tests I've done using different uh, tools and. I've created a video on how to check your WordPress speed or your website site speed using several tools. And I'll also put that video uh, description below. Uh, so let's get to it. Here is the Lighthouse version. Um, this is from Google. And you can see that the performance is about 17. And the first color content paint, full, paint is about 3.2 second. So that's, uh, I mean, below average, and you could see kind of where, how long it takes for them to kind of load the whole website. Next tool I've used what is Tools Pingdom, and this is uh, kind of about 2.63 seconds um, in the Washington server. GT Metrics shows about 4.6 on average uh, in Canada. Um, so this is a little bit different because depending on where you are uh, and depending on where your audience audiences are, um, you, you can't control GT metrics uh, and where the, the server is at. But with Pingdom, you, you're able to change to a different location close to where your audience are mostly residing at. Um, this is Google's uh, PageSpeed Insight, and you can see the mobile version is 29, and the desktop is about 73. And gift of speed, content visible 2.4, fully loaded 3.28. And on Cloudflare, I've installed Cloudflare, and uh, you can see the development mode, which is um, kind of saying without Cloudflare, you're 66% lower. So if you install Cloud, Cloudflare, you'll, you have one second of reduced speed of load time in comparison to not having one. And I'll create a video for how to uh, start Cloudflare as well and put the link in the description below. So I'm going to install this plugin and I'm going to give you another test of the difference between the non um, the website without the plugin and with the plugin. Now I've done the, the after test to t show you the difference between the before and after of using WP Rocket. And the Lighthouse performance, it was 17, now it's currently 18. So it did help just a bit. Uh, and the Pingdom test, we're looking at at 1.11 uh, seconds and performance grade of 74. I did a screenshot of the before and 2.63 with 67 performance grade. So that is a huge improvement. 
and under GT metrics, we're at 3.6 seconds with 1.71 megabyte, and the previous is 4.6 with 3.47 megabyte. With the uh, Google Page Insight, you're looking at 32 for mobile and 90 for desktop. And you're looking at 29 for uh, the previous result and 73 for desktop, the previous result. With the gift of speed, you're looking at 1.55 seconds with 728 milliseconds of content visible in comparison to 2.5. 42 seconds with 3.28. That's a big, big difference just with a few clicks using this plugin. Now I'm going to show you how, what you should be enabling, what settings um, the WP Rocket offers, and what you need to do to uh, make your site a lot faster. Now I'm going to show you how to install WP Rocket and how to set it up properly. All you have to do is just go to, once you downloaded the, the plugin, you're going to go add new, upload plugin, and then choose the plugin and activate it. I've already activated the, the plugin and under settings, you're going to click on WP Rocket. And I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step instruction how to, um, what stuff you want to check. So the dashboard is here. You want caching enabled, separate caching. I'll leave that alone. File optimization. Just be careful if you do want to minify HTML to double check. So if I'm going to click on this one and click save. What you want to do is clear cache and just make sure that nothing is out of the ordinary because it can mess up with uh, the, the HTML code. These are just add space, okay. Combine Google font files, minimize CSS, Combine, and you want to do this individually. So once you click save, clear cache. And if you do use Cloudflare, you want to purge everything as well. Okay, looking good. Now I do this individually just so that if there is, uh, if there is any issue, I could I know why and what's causing it. So you do want to try to isolate the issue versus trying to uh, check everything before you do. Um, so you, you don't know, you, so you know which one is causing that issue.
Okay, now we're going to media and we're going to lazy load any images. And if, if you have any videos, we want to replace it with a preview image. So it's just an image versus loading the actual video. So it doesn't take too long. Clear cache, purge everything. Now you can see the ads run, running a little bit faster as well. And that's pretty much it using the WP Rocket. And I'm going to show you um, what other plugins you could use to kind of enhance the image uh, better. So let me show you just how you could do that. Now, images do take up a lot of space. So there are several options where, where you, what you could do. Um, if you do install the WP Rocket, you do have that lazy load image feature. But if you want to compress your image, you could also use uh, a plugin called uh, Optimal. So Optimal uses uh, their server to kind of uh, scale the images and then uh, compress it to w WBP. And the other one you could use is WP Smush where it also compresses your image so that it's not too uh, high of a resolution. And so if you do not, uh, if you tend to upload high resolution images and uh, your site's loading, taking forever, then you do want to use either of those plugins. Both of them do have the same feature, um, similar features. Uh, I do try to use Optimal more than WP Smush. So it does give you a better uh, uh, load time for your images. The other thing that you do want to do is uh, once you go to Cloudflare under speed and optimization, you do want to check uh, the rocket loader as well to help you uh, increase your site speed a little bit more. So now I've shown you the results of using WP Rocket and the benefits of it. And I'm ho hopefully you guys are happy with the results. However, do know that if your site is receiving, receiving a little bit more traffic than usual and your site is growing, your site speed's going to start to decay just a bit. Uh, and also the more content you have on your website and more images and so on, your site will still load a uh, little bit longer than what you your the first result that you had. That that's why it's really important to transition to a faster web hosting company to help you uh, scale your website. You don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money uh, choosing the, the the best WordPress hosting provider, but you do want to um, take into consideration consideration of the performance. Um, when your site is growing. So there you have it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, please like it and also hit the subscribe button. And until next time, catch you later.